So I'm just getting ready to lag off with uh, Simon Fitzsimmons and uh, Ben Davis. We've actually done one of the previous games and Simon and Ben's I've got to say we're quite impressed with them both they've played really uh, really well it looks like Simon's won the lag he's going to be joined in a second again by uh, Greg Gamlin. Simon so uh, to break. Also red. Okay, then as well. Uh. The pleasure of um, commentating on another game with Ben Davis and another cracker, I'm sure, because uh, Simon Fitzsimmons is a great player, also. So, this is uh, sure to be another cracker. Yeah, I've, um, I've done one of Ben's games and uh, one of size and they've uh, both been very attacking we did one earlier on Greg and uh, it was a great game with Mike King and uh, Ben played really well another big test for Ben though I mean Simon's uh, he's had a great year I think did he get a final of was it the Masters or something he got to the uh, IPA uh, World Championship final. World Championships yeah he played really well in, in that event I think again, like with uh, with Mike, um, it's kind of like a breaking contest for these two because they've got such a good break. Yeah, he's not um, played much world rules for a few years. Simon he used to play uh, in the England team and that um, a while ago, and then he didn't play pool for a while, and he, he plays a bit of black ball now, like uh, but. Um, did he stop playing f completely, did he? Mm, like yeah, him? he had um, four years out, maybe five. He, uh, he had a couple of uh, a couple of children, and mm -hmm. then when he come back, he started to play black ball. Okay. Yeah, I remember uh, Simon back, back on the IPA many years ago. So. Yeah. But he's definitely come back with vengeance. He's he's playing some superb pool. I've seen some of the games this weekend, and he's he hasn't had a real big test yet. As he's seemed to be cruising. Yeah. So he, um, I think he's won his first um, his other games, eleven two, eleven three. Yeah. There you go. So this is going to be a big test for him. And yeah. <coughs> I think Ben won one eleven five, and then obviously uh, he beat Mike. Mike. Yeah, which was a tough game. I feel a bit sorry for Mike really because he he played really well. I actually thought he was the better player. Uh, he made he made less mistakes than he. Yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes it's a cruel uh, game, uh, Greg, isn't it? Well, I think you hit the nail on the head when we commentated in the last game about the breaks and how important they are, and Ben broke by far better than what Mike did and that that was the, the telling factor come come the end of the result so mm. a lot of work to do for Ben yeah and obviously he's he's always gonna be looking to try and finish but um Got quite a bit of work to do. I wonder if he'll try and uh, take a pocket here with this one. Or is he going to try and... Yeah, but he's not... Mm. Wow, well, I can't believe that. Incredible. He's looking at that gap, yeah. 
I don't know how he's managed. There wasn't much of a gap. There was no. No. Crazy. But yeah, he's gone in and a real good chance now for Simon to to take the first one. With ball in hand as well, he can get on the, the, the yellow that obviously doesn't go at the top of the table and, and, and play it nicely into the bottom right. Or maybe the middle, and then what? What he fancies. If it goes in the middle, that's. Yeah, he's looking in the corner, so. Having a good look at it. Does land it perfect? He's he can cut this into the middle and this was the bottom yellow as well. So. I'm not sure whether it's come out enough that Greg. It's no. getting a bit awkward, becoming a bit awkward. This tricky little finish now. Maybe I had to create a gap if he's going to play the yellow inside the. The red and open it up it might be worth trying to to kiss into the red by the black with the white at the same time to sort of develop all the balls the black goes also yeah there's not much of a gap inside that red is there to be fair so it depends no. on what you fancy you, you may choose to to just bang both yellows out or he could just drop it and then try taking the pocket and knocking the red away. There's a couple of options yep. here, Greg, isn't there, really? Yeah. Simon's very attacking like Ben, so it's... Is he? Right, OK. The, um, well, if that's the case with two shots, he's, I think he'll probably be looking to to develop or or something like that. Well, yeah, well, great shot. I didn't think he could play that from, from where we are, to be honest, but I think he'll take that. Still not easy, but he's not really got uh, a pot on there, so he, he needs to set something up and make it as easy as possible for the rest of the finish. Are you playing the long double? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good shot. Yeah, it's a good shot. He's played that really well. He's the black. Obviously, doesn't need to dislodge it. It goes in the top left. So if he can, with the angle, he's got the ball in the middle now. If he can get the white in the top row, it'll be perfect. Just to stun down past the red and the black in the top left. Oh, oh that's okay. Yeah, I thought that when he played yeah. it. I thought. <laughs> yeah, he seemed to. Yeah. Uh, he seemed to quit on the shot a little bit. Yeah. the cushion a little mm. bit more than he's anticipated though and he's got a tricky shot here to be honest. I mean these tables are s super fast and uh, it's hard to cue things that well I mean it's, it's, all, it's all little dolly shots all the time and with, with that shot you just need to sort of just drop it in. I think he's looking at a double here going he loves a double side. Is he? Oh does it? He's trying to cut it in. Looks like he's going for the cut. The cut's massive, he's made it. It's a great What's shot. A shot. Super. Yeah. I thought when he was queuing up like quite quickly, I thought he's going to... Uh, Double was yeah. obvious. Yeah. I didn't think the cut was on, to be no, honest. I didn't. Going into the red as well was always a bit dangerous. I thought he, he's played that really well and taken the first 
Take the first ring. Yeah, really good shot that. He's like kind of hit the red side on to straighten it up to not to not knock it in and uh, good finish that from Sai. It's the sledgehammer break from Ben uh, coming up now, Greg. Yeah. The monster break this when he gets it right, isn't it? Uh, every single frame he he broke against Mike King, he, he passed the ball, so and there you go, there's your first dry break. Wow. Over to you, Sai. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, obviously, the, the other, he's got to go for res because he can't see a yellow. But I mean, both colours look look good. He's got a good opportunity here to take the frames. There's really much danger. He's got a red down the rail, but I mean, as long as he gets on that well, we shouldn't shouldn't have too much trouble. It's just about working out your best path and. Going back to pulls the the correct way. Yeah, that's right. He's drilled that in. Wow. What a shot. Yeah, he's played it quite well as well. It shows how much how confident he is as well to, to play a shot like that at that pace. Yeah, he's trusting he's, he's confident and, and trusting in the uh, tables as well, Greg, well, really. It's a big shot. Yeah, it is. Because um, you know, if he misses, it's open table. Mm -hmm. You know. So You're basically backing yourself up 100% to, exactly. to, to get it, aren't you? Exactly. I think he'd, he'd play the ball in the middle now, really. He could play t the top ball and then red in the middle, then he's not got the right angle, so I think drop the red in the middle is the right choice you can come round them for the red down the rail let's we'll see what, what Simon thinks yep just drop that in and a good white ball now and put himself on the red down the rail It's not too bad, just uh I mean, he hasn't got to do a lot and there's not a lot of pressure either. I mean you can you can, you can just drop this in dead way, it'll be on the red and the bottom right hand side and you won't leave a lot in terms of yellows if he does miss so um, it looks like he's screwing back. It does, doesn't it? No, he's dropping it in. <laughs> yeah, he did look like he was screwing back there, Greg, yeah, to be honest, yeah. didn't he? But what's he doing? No, that's not that. It's perfect. It's a great shot. He's played that well as well, Greg. Just, ooh. Just yes. runs a bit fast, that time. He is quick. I think he's fine now. Just yeah. drop this in. Back in the opposite middle. That's a great start for Simon. He's not going to get many of those dry breaks, I'm sure. So no, not with that one with Ben. I was talking to him outside before, Ben. Um, he was saying his breaks like half his game, mm. to be honest. Yeah. And Simon pots the black and he's 2 0 up and. Uh, Cruising. Yeah, hopefully.
It's a big break again, that from Sai. Look at them yellows again, Greg. Yeah, they, they look the voice, don't they? Yeah. A really good chance. The balls are uh, they're breaking up lovely and makes for a good standard and, and pretty to watch as well. So. Yeah. Twenty odd frames of commentary and one uh, one fudgy frame. I'll yeah, do for me exactly, that, mate. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I wondered whether he was going to look to try and pop both those balls at the same time. Then, and then yeah, I thought I'm he not might. Sure, do he, that. he's actually played that, but it causes a bit of a problem for Simon now because the red's going to. Sort of hinder the white exactly as he can screw it out a little bit with side oh he's, he's, he's pinched the pocket and, and played that well so yeah he has played that well I think that sometimes you just can't see whether they can get through and a little inch and it makes a big deal of difference Defense, Greg, yeah. doesn't it yeah, yeah. One good positional shot, Greg, and it could be 3 0 to Simon. He's got options here, I don't. And just now he, see, now he sees it and how he wants to play it with it. Does yeah. so drop this in as a little stun shot or screw back? Then to the bottom off the table, so he's chose to, to stun it. Play the long yellow, yeah? And long yellow, yeah. Just got to sort of toy with the middle pocket a little bit, come off the side rail and back out for the black. He's played that well. What well, I've noticed about Simon's queue, and he seems to always queue at the bottom like he's going to screw everything back. Yeah, he does, yeah. yeah. He does, yeah. And then when he strikes the ball, he's it's like. And that's another good yeah. finish from Sai. It's. Uh, 3 0 now to Sai. And no balls missed. No balls missed. That's unbelievable. I know, yeah. And it's mm. not like he's not striking it well. He's, he's struck them really well. The balls have gone everywhere. And there's two dry breaks. I know, we're not used to seeing this no. from Ben, are we, Greg? No. <coughs> Mike King's going to be wondering what happened or wrong. I know, yeah. He's uh, noticed that he was watching the game before, Mike. I think he's over there somewhere in the crowd watching the game. He must be thinking, he didn't do this against <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> He had a good opportunity there to obviously dislodge all the balls. Um, he, he's played the right shot. It just didn't come out as well as what he hoped. But he's still got another chance now. He can he can drop this into the middle, play a little bit left hand side just to just to nudge the red past the yellow and open up all his balls. Yeah. Um, it's key that he plays it as early as possible. So we'll be looking to do that now. Not a bad shot, that, to be honest, Greg. Yeah, he's played that perfect. You can't see much really getting in the way now it's for Simon. He's developed all his balls. He's just about, again, working out which route to take and, and going about his business in the right way. It's a good shot.
Ben's not really had a go yet. I think maybe in the first room he had a, did he have a chance in the first room. I think he did, but he's not come to the table for since the first room. I don't think. No, I don't think he has, Greg. He's over on that. Yeah, he's over on that, but I think he'll be okay. Yeah. Just held up enough to still have a shot on the on the red and bottom left. He's forced to, to play the double now, so it's going to be a little stun shot. And he loves a double, so does Sai. There you go. I said that before, and he cut the black mm. in. There <laughs> <laughs> we go. Four nil to Simon. Another good finish. You can't pick a fault in anything Simon's done so far. I mean, this absolute flawless, poor, superb. Doesn't really matter who he's playing against when he's playing like this. So, no, if they're not, if they're not getting to the table and somebody's on doing the doing them, you can't really do a great deal, Greg. Yeah, Ben's just looked at me to say, "What can I do?" He's not had a go. He's 4 0 down, he's not had a go. I think it's the last 16 now of the of the main, the winner's side of the tournament. Yeah, I think so if you win this, you, uh, you're through till tomorrow morning. There's another good break from Sai. They'll have Oof. one more game to, to be in the money stages. Yeah, one more game for a thousand uh, pounds. Yeah. Look at them reds again, Greg. Uh, it's a massive he's break he's got he's as well, isn't it? Breaking superbly. And it just goes to show that what we talked about with the break and how important it is you know we Ben broke so well in his in his last round match against Mike King and and the breaks are all going for Simon so far and he's doing the damage with it as well he's playing superbly yeah he is to be fair and there's nothing stopping him here there's, there's nothing in the way at all he's, he's literally not going to do anything with the white he, he drops a red into the top He's, then he's on the red to go into the left, left hand top, so he's he's really got to do nothing with the white ball. It's all really quite simple for now, so I fully expect him to take this out. Yeah, he's um, bent up against it, the tournament favourite is. He's, yeah, he's wobbling a bit. He's up against it. Well, you say that, but. He's not really done anything wrong. What's he done? Has he? <laughs> Nothing, has he's, he really? he's not had a go. He, no. He hasn't, he hasn't, Greg, to be fair. I mean, I mean, for me, it's hard to put anybody favourite when you've got such a good field and all you have to yeah. with the odds, etc. But, yeah. I mean, I think Simon was quite of a high price considering, he, you know, he's, he's he's one of the form players, yeah. especially from where we're from. What was the... Um, I think he was 16s, Simon. From the start. Yeah, yeah which is generous, really, considering... Yeah. Um, he's played for a lot of money this year, and he's won some massive money matches. Yeah, um, yeah as well. He um, he played one about six weeks ago um, for twenty seven and a half thousand. What's that against? against Carl O'Donoghue from Ireland. Okay. And he uh, beat him quite easy, really. Did he? Yeah, twenty five. And Carl's a great player. Yeah, twenty five, sixteen. Yeah, he's a good oh, player. What's Carl. he done here? 
What's oh. he done here? For... Oh dear. He's got half a table to land on there and he's he's over hit like a rush of blood. And he's over hit that by about two foot. He's yeah, he got himself, I mean uh, I mean, he's got still got a four nil lead is it's massive, but I mean yep. five nil and he's cruising and to make a mistake like that he, he knows that he's letting Ben back in the game, he's really got to pull something out here and, and make sure that yeah, it's a good yeah, queue in as well, Greg, as well, isn't He's it? queuing over the yellow. He's got the planes. Well, I don't know where he plays it, into the bottom right or bottom left. He's got options, but he, the favourite's to, to play it into the bottom right from here. And yeah, definitely. Doesn't like it. That's a great shot. He played into the bottom left, so... And he's played it superbly. Mm. I mean, for what was had to be one of the easiest finishes he's had so far. He's he's played a, a terrible shot, but again, followed by probably the best shot he's played so far in the match. So and it's five nil to Simon. Five nil. Wow, he's not even. Um Just uh, a quick stop for. Him. Come for a break. So Ben to Breck for M6. And he's tried to cut tap Breck. And he's still ain't potted one Greg, isn't I um I don't get that at all. No, I don't, to I be honest. I don't understand why he's done that. Doesn't make any sense. I know he's not potted the ball off the last two breaks, but the balls went everywhere and he's really unlucky not to spot a ball. He's breaking well, he's queuing well. He's got to stick with it. I don't know why he's done that. It's just down to, to, to luck where well, he hasn't part of the ball. He's, the ball's gone everywhere on yeah. his breaks. Yeah. And perhaps he's just trying to, to stop Simon, but I don't think that's going to stop him. I mean, Simon's got another chance now. Yeah, he's left him um, an opener. Oh, and he's perfect. I mean, he's, I don't know if the red goes in the top right, but it certainly goes in the top left. He's looking now. If it goes like it must be quite tight for him to get behind the ball, but I mean, it goes in the top left, and he can play the red into the middle and drop on it in the top left now. Yeah, yeah, you can, Greg. You're right. I, mean, I think I didn't get out. I'm fabulous. 
I must admit, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite surprised he's done that. So that Reb must go into the middle where he's played. I mean, he could have just dropped on it, so so it must go, and he's perfect as well. So yeah, if it goes, he's in the perfect position to to to, to pot it. So a tap break from Ben's for it to eat them. Yeah, he's opened them up. Sometimes when they do that, you do you do open them up a bit, and that's what's happened on this occasion, Greg. I think you know. I don't, it's not for me personally, I wouldn't. The tables are playing so fast for all that. You know, you've got to hit cushions, you know, the ball's got to hit cushions anyway, so the tables are playing so fast, even if you tap them, they're going to they're gonna open up. So yeah. I, I don't I don't get it. They give yourself the best chance to, to pot a ball, you know, and, and his breaking has been so superb. He's had two dry breaks and he's changed his break, I, I don't understand. No, I don't, to be honest. The only thing I can put it down to is probably a bit of negativity in his in his own in his own head ab about what's been happening. But well, Ben sat in his seat for six frames now, mm. and he's got me wondering what have I got to do? Yeah. He can't really be annoyed with himself about any particular shot or anything that's happened because it's. It's Simon's just been at the table, just finishing off. I think the black goes into the bottom right, but I think you'll probably play off the top rail and play it into the bottom left. So I play the red into the into the middle. Look off the top row, a little bit right hand side, and put it back onto the bottom left. It's a perfect. Six. Six nil, Greg. Yeah. Well, I think it was a new tournament favourite. Mm. So we have to beat playing like this, but it was a cruel game, and Ben's break was awesome in one game, and now he can't get a ball in this game. It's just all twists and turns. It can all change, Greg, can't it? Well, absolutely. But I mean, you know, he's only actually played. I think he played. He had one one visit in the. In the first frame, I think it was. Um, he hasn't. He hasn't. It's been five break dishes in a row. Yeah. Or five dishes off the break, whether it be in, you know, obviously his break or or Ben's, but his break's working for him. But his break's very similar to Ben's. I just don't get why Ben done that. No, no, I don't either. And and and, and it was the same result. He's he's, he's tap broken. Size dished, so it's not really changed anything at all, Greg. Really, I mean, obviously, it's a big lead now for for Simon, and, but for, from Ben's perspective, he's he's just got to take one frame at a time and just play his own game and just yeah. hope that the you know the the roll of the balls changes. Simon's so made another ball. I mean, the whites have gone close, but he's he's got a chance. He, you know, the reds. Are looking decent. He's he's at the table. And can he make it seven in a row? <laughs> can he make it eleven? That'd be something, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> superhuman side. Superhuman side for sure. And it's a superhuman performance up to now. Yeah, so it's it's, uh, it's good to watch.
There you go, right? So, Ben, you're a go. Let's, yeah. see, let's see how well you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know it's now, and obviously, he's got two visits and good opportunity now for Ben to, to get well on the board. And of course, it's it's an open table as well, so so although Carl's bottle red, he's gone in off the it's an open table, so um, I'm sure Ben will also take reds. Yeah, he's got to be getting these, uh, Greg, hasn't he? He's got to get one on the board, break well, and, Six, and go from there. Yeah. Six can turn into, uh, nil can turn into two. So been taking these balls out against Mikey, he would have been flowing round the table, but he, he's under a lot of pressure here and he's he's slowing himself up and this is this is a finish that you'd fully expect him to get and he's slowed himself up because he's obviously under a lot of pressure. He's six now down, he hasn't had a go. He's really got to make sure and Yeah, he's just uh trying to be extra careful here and uh keep his two. He's okay there, he's, he's just come far enough so we can cut this ball into the middle and come out for the top red. He's missed it. Yeah. He's still okay though, I mean, I don't know if he's going to fancy the ball at the top now after missing that. He's, he's just got a leaving himself and yeah he's he's under pressure and he's six no down he, he's, he doesn't want to be thinking he's playing bad he's not had a go he, he just needs to be confident in what he's doing and He's played that well. Um, I was going to suggest that was the wrong ball to play because, and I think he's played that just because the other ball was slightly more difficult. And like I said, he is under pressure, um, so he's played the the more simple ball, played the kiss, and he's played it well, to be honest. But the obvious shot was to play the red, at the higher red first, then. But yeah, I think it was as well, Greg. To be honest. It'll be okay. Yeah, the, well, the black goes into the corner, so he can drop this in and sort of get a white ball somewhere, somewhere near the blue spot, if you like. <laughs> yeah, good shot that from Ben and. Uh Yep, Ben takes that frame. And it's 6 1. Needs to uh, get a good break on, uh, on this one, really. He's um, been struggling with his break in this match up to now, and every time he has brought dry or not got a ball, 
uh, Simon stepped in and uh, knocked him in. Only mistake. It's been made really by Ben. He's not getting the ball and. See what this break um, turns out like. Wow, no, that's better. Massive break that. It's looking like it could be taking. Um, oh, yeah, the ball's got the ball set here. Taken yellows after he's uh, got his break back to normal. There, big, uh, big hit, good split. It's okay. I mean, he just clipped the yellow, but. I think he should be okay. Yeah. He's queuing over the red, but. Mm, he's getting the spider height. Will he be like using this? Mm. I don't. I don't want to use in this, good. I don't <laughs> like using the rest at all, to be honest. <laughs> I don't like using my queue. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, should be okay. Really here, but sometimes it's a bit awkward with the spider. I mean, it's not, it's not my favourite. He's, he's got angles, so he hasn't got to do a lot. He's just got to make sure of the part. You know, the yellow's over the middle pocket, so just drop it in um, and give himself a chance. He's struggling to get the cue on the spider. <laughs> this is not nice. No, it's not, to be fair. Ooh. He's got away with it. I think he's, he's obviously he's missed the pot, but has he left anything? I'm not sure. The red closest to the white may go in the top left. Mm. I don't think it's half a chance, I just can't see it. I just don't really get sneak past Greg. Mm. I think it might, you know. Ben's like gonna be disappointed with that, you know he's he's starting to to uh to make some mistakes and I could only put that down to Simon playing so well and Simon's really put Ben under pressure and you could tell on the last frame when he took the finish out that he he didn't fancy it. And uh and that, that was a finish I'd expect Ben to get, so... Yeah, I mean... Same as you there, Greg, I thought he was going to get them. But another chance for, for Simon now, and although this is a difficult finish, if Simon can take these, and he's... and he's Oh, he's gone and off. I was going to say, if he can take these, he could really drill it into, into Ben, but obviously he's gone and off, and give a good opportunity now for Ben to... to pull another one back. He shouldn't, uh, he shouldn't be failing here from, with two shots if he's going to uh, no. compete in the uh, in the match, really, Greg. Yeah, he, he won't be missing from here, so 
Um, well, I'd say that. I wouldn't expect him to anyway. Just pop. Oh, he's got options here. He could just set it up, or he might even pot it. Yeah, I think that's the right shot. Like I said again, he is under pressure, and he didn't want to play the wrong shot here. He's, he's just—he just needs to make sure, and, and that's perfect. He can play this and screw across to the other to the other pocket, and, and play it the side and go towards the other pocket, and get into the middle, and it should be uh, six-two. Massive break there from Simon. The white was was going straight for that top left hand pocket, and uh, the ball's kicked it away. And he's and now he's got a chance. So the run's going his way as well, Phil. So yeah, Ben Ben's uh, he's won the last two frames. So he starts to, to call his way back into the in the game. And if Simon wants to really get a foothold in in this match, he needs to put a dent and stop stop Ben from getting back into the match and, and take take a opportunity like this now. This would really hurt Ben. Obviously Simon's trying to take the ball by the horns, he's, he's played that really confidently, as he seems to do all the time. Yeah. Um, really does seem to want to thump the ball. He Punches on end, doesn't he? Yeah, so. yeah. He just shows so much confidence. But but he's missed and, and Ben's got a chance. And this is big because obviously it's Simon's, Simon's break, so if Ben can pinch this, he's back in the match. Oh, definitely, yeah. to banks no, that's okay you can see in the player's demeanor as well you, you can get a feel for how they're feeling at the table when Ben was 6-0 down even though he hadn't actually done anything wrong he never looked confident all of a sudden there's a little bit more swagger about him and he's looking 
He's looking like he's uh, in the match now, uh, yeah. Greg, isn't he? Yeah. And he's also picked up his pace as well, have you noticed? Yeah. Yeah. He's still expecting to, to get this finish, but I think he's not really played that very well. He, he's going to play the plant, but I think he's going to... Just needs to get this right. You know, it's, it's not that that's super difficult. He just This can go wrong, so he just needs to, to work out which way he wants to go. And he's certain in his mind when he plays the shot. the danger and I'm not sure if he's on it. He's, I don't know that he is and that's what he was saying. That he, yeah, it wasn't a difficult finish, it was just a little bit of danger and he's shaking his head, he's not happy so I don't think he's on that ball. So the cut is looks like the only option for him but or a swerve. Oh hang on. Oh, I don't know. I think he can play that, you know. So. I think he can. He may have to play a little bit of side, maybe a little bit of right hand side, just to skid past the yellow. But I mean, obviously, it makes the pot that, that much more difficult. But I think if he plays the cut, he's losing the white. So there's. Trying to check it up with a bit of side, I think, Greg, isn't it? To hold it. Oh. Does it go? Yeah, I think I think it goes, but the whites the whites also going away from the black. Yeah, definitely. Probably kissing into the yellow. Possibly going into the middle. There's a lot of danger here, but He needs to get that, that cue and I'm going now and get into this ball, play it confidently and try and come off the, the side rail and, and come back out for the black. He's looking, that looks like he's playing into the yellow. By doing that, obviously, he needs to stun the white, so he he, he holds for the black, but it obviously makes the pot so much more difficult. And oh, definitely, yeah. If he plays it plain, he loses the white, so... His choices now is up to Ben to what he what he thinks and what he fancies. Me personally, I I, I make more more sure sure of the part. Yeah. Um, he's playing a cannon. Or he's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. Yeah. He really needs to get this. If he, if he misses this, all the yellows are in the open. If he misses this, he's seven two down. So this is this is important. No, he's not sure. And it just it purely comes down to whatever he fans is because. The option was there for both. There's a risk in taking the red off the cannon, off the yellow. But you're guaranteed to, to, to be on the black. You can pot the red, which you're almost guaranteed. And the risk of getting on the black. So, yeah, that's the way I would go personally. How he's going to play this now, try and pot it straight into the middle. But, or is he? Keeps changing his mind, Phil. I don't think yeah. he knows what to do. I know, yeah, it's... Uh... One thing's for sure is when he takes his shot, he has to make sure in his head that 
you know, he's not in between shots. He needs to make sure in his head that he's actually playing the right the shot. shot. Committed, yeah, committed, committed to, to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's playing the cannon. I think he. He's missed it. Oh no, he's not. He's got it. Great shot. Oh dear. Yeah. Do you know, I just had a feeling. I didn't fancy him for that. You know, going back to the very beginning of that finish, there was there was quite a simple finish. Yeah, it was, Greg, yeah. I, and yeah, Ben's under pressure. And, and that isn't down to all. Obviously, he's not playing well, and he's going to say he's not playing well. But I think going 6-0 down like he has isn't down to him not playing well. It's down to how well Simon's played. Yeah. And I can only say that by Ben not playing well, it's purely down to Simon put the pressure on him. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's kind of flown out the trap, Simon. It's 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 hard sometimes, uh, Greg, because you know you he's not done a lot wrong, and then he's getting a chance, and you just just need a little bit of luck, and before you know it. You, you're a long way behind and you, you're kind of chasing finishes and chasing the game, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure whether the yellow goes. Well, yeah, the black. Yeah, 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 so, yeah? yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, it does, yeah. You see on the camera angle, yeah, it's perfect, that for Simon. So he'll, he'll look to just nudge the yellow on the side row up towards the middle pocket now and, and beyond the yellow into the middle. Yeah. To right middle next. Still be alright really though. Yeah, I think he, he probably wanted to play that a little bit more full ball but so he's got a little bit of angle on this ball in the middle, but if he plays it with a bit of right hand side to check the ball away from the other yellow, then uh, he should be good to go. Well, when he was queuing, you could see he was playing that with right hand side, yeah. but it didn't it didn't check at all. No, I so, just... so I don't know what happened there. You could see when he was queuing. He was he was playing right hand side, and when it came off that top rail, it's almost like it kicked off of his cue. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean? Yeah, it did. Yeah, he, he didn't. He didn't get the side at all. No, it's not. A, it's not an easy shot, no, for side. So he's obviously playing the yellow into the bottom corner. I mean, I still fancy him to get this. It's not like he's got to do too much. He's just got to avoid the middle pocket. So a little stun shot. It's just, just, just pop the ball. Yeah, it's oh, fine. He's played it well. Four seven two to say. That's a pinch. Yeah, there's a pinch, Greg. You're yeah, right. He's, you know, Ben's had a chance there to to really claw back into the match and um, mistaken Simon's uh, taking full advantage and it's seven frames to two. So Ben's break worked for him last time and yeah, he's gonna stick yeah. Look at that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with his break. I don't know why he'd done that cut break. No, I don't, to be honest, uh, Greg. He's got to get his arm going now. If he wants to get back into this match, he's breaking well enough. He just needs to, to have that confidence in himself. And you see again, repeat of his break. He doesn't look, he doesn't put everything into it. It's just He just cues the ball so well, his timing is perfect. So he's gone yellows and played a good first shot. 
plant into the middle. And a really good opportunity now for, for Ben. Do you know what? I just think he needs to stop thinking about it so much. And just get it down just and knock him in, yeah. Exactly. Somebody's asking on the chat, is that me on the microphone? Yes, it is Ashley. All right, mate. Somebody from the UK toilet, I know. Really, uh, not really looked at the uh, live chat, Greg and Mr. Ben should, uh, mate, like, look at these. A little bit surprised the way you went there, but yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, it's fine. Just going on. Just about he's all right there, Reg. <laughs> yeah, he's, he is okay, but I think a bit of a sigh of relief for Ben now. He's yeah. A little roll to the right, and he'd have been behind the red. Exactly. So good finish from Ben. It's uh, a breaking dish. Yeah, I mean, obviously that was a that was a, a bread and butter finish, and. Fully expects him to get it, but what he was doing different then, Phil, was he looked confident and he, he picked up the pace and, and he got on with it. He stopped thinking about it, and I think sometimes, especially when you're when you're so far down, if if you stop and think about things, you're just putting negative thoughts in your head. You've got you've got to finish, get on with it. You know you know what you're doing. Yeah. You practice these finishes day in and day out. Break. It's made a ball into the into the middle. White safe. So Jordan didn't recognise my voice, mate, after all these years. <laughs> Is that your mate, that guy? Yeah. from Bristol, yeah. It's my telephone voice, mate, you didn't recognise it. Back to the action, and I see Simon's coming. He's uh, got a good opportunity now. He's it's on the arrows. He's played for the dislodge there, and obviously, he's just kicked the red on the way through. So, a bit of work to do here. This is. Uh, not as open as what it has been for Simon um, you know, in the first sort of six frames, so Some, uh, it's got a bit of work to do. Yeah. Yeah, that was tricky. Um, I can see why he chose to do that, but I mean, the yellow that he was opening up by playing that went into the into the corner anyway. So I'm not sure that was the right choice of shot because obviously it wasn't a dead certain. He's missing. With you know having a, having a big lead, obviously great for a player, but 
the last thing you want to do, you know, he's had Ben's head down, he's been lost his confidence, but if he miss finishes and hand it back to your player, you're only going to give that player confidence back and he really beat Ben up for the first six frames. Yeah, he did, Greg, yeah. Um, you've got to keep you've got to keep him down while you can. That's exactly. The Put the pressure on and and I think he's just pushed the boat out a little bit too much there. Um, but having said that, if he gets it, you know, he's he's on a he's on a finish, so you know it's his fractions this game and Yeah. You can play this as a shot to nothing, Phil. You run through and put the one on the bottom row. So. Yeah, he's, in, he's missed it by quite a way, that Greg, as well. He has. He hasn't left a lot, so. Um, the pressure's back now on Simon because, in all fairness, the Reds are all there now. There's, there's nothing from stopping him, so he's either got to tie something up or he's got to pull something out, so. For me, you know, you, at the four yellows you've got on the right hand side, if you play the third one, if you like, and push it over towards, the, you can play the pot into the top left and hope that you can get the bag if you miss it. Um, if he gets it all well and good, he may be able to dislodge the red as well, so the other yellow goes, so that's, that's probably the shot. But I'll have to see, and see what Simon so Fancy is. Looking at the plant actually, maybe covering the pocket on the right hand side. I don't know, he's just played that ball, but he's played the double, and I, I'm not sure about that. He's not left an easy part, is he? So, it's not a bad shot. Not, it's not too bad. I'm not quite sure what he, uh, what he played then, uh, Greg, but I think he's had a result there. Yeah, I think he's just left a good white. Um, was, he didn't have a lot of options, did he really? Uh, I mean, obviously I suggested a shot, but clutching that straws really, he was in a lot of trouble. But he's not played a bad shot, but he, I mean, there's a cut into the right middle, and there's also a double Ben can take on. I'm not sure if this cut is possible or not. He's looking at it now. But might fly him round a bit if he's going to be playing that, isn't it? It is, I mean, but as long as he avoids any and off, he should be on something after, so... Watch the black. Oh, he's okay. Yeah, it's a good shot. So you'll, you'll probably leave that red at the top because that's the ball to get on his black, so... Generally when, you know... Certainly, when I look to to take a finish out, I always work from the black backwards. I don't know about yourself, mm. but yeah, yeah, you've got to. I think that's the easier, easiest way without overcomplicating things too much, Greg. I think that's probably the way to to do it. Hmm. He may be forced into taking the ball at the top now, and as he fancies the plant, so he's just over hit that by just a couple of inches. Um, he would like to have been on the ball in the corner next, but he's not. He's going to have to play the plant, or he's going to have to go up for the red at the top. And he's played it well. He has indeed. A really good chance now for Ben to uh, to put it back to seven four. So just needs to mind his work. Just drop this in, a bit right hand side to put it over to the middle of the table. And the shot. And then nothing with the white ball. He just drops it in the red. He doesn't have to do anything. And seven four. And back in the match. Yep, 7-4. He's back in the match, Ben. And Ben's break as well, so... From Simon's point of view, he needs to stop the rot now, because Ben is coming back at him, and 
You know, he's pushed about a couple of shots where he's just tried to. For me, play the wrong shots, but just more percentage shots um, and punish punish Ben, rather than sort of. It's easy when you're when you're way ahead to sort of just go that extra mile and look at that break. Look at that break. It's a monster that. Wow. Yeah. Potted uh, three reds. And the reds look superb, don't they? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean this it's obvious what he's got to do, there's no need for me to tell you. Game on, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Wonder what odds our bookies was given on uh, on Ben at six nil. It'd have been an interesting <laughs> price to know all that, Greg. Yeah. I must admit. Uh. Yeah, Ben's uh, up in the uh, ante on the pace of the... Yeah, but now it's going to be uh, nail-biting stuff, this Greg. You can see the difference when he's when he's got the confidence about him. And then, oh, <sighs> wow. What's he done there? Wow. What has he done there? I can't believe he's missed that, mate, to be honest. That is massive. What's he done there? I think he's just got down too quick and just thrown his cue at it and... Uh, that is absolutely massive, because that... Well, it is massive, Phil, and you know, if Simon can take these out now, I mean, and I fully expect him to, that's really, this is going to hurt Ben. This is really going to... And this is going to be a, a point in the match that Ben's going to look back on, because if he loses this match now, you know, he's really starting to come back at, at Simon, and that was huge. That's like a two to a four frame swing if if Simon uh, mops these up, Greg, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Absolutely huge. Seven five or eight four. I can't, I can't believe he's missed that. I really can't. No, I just can't see. Sai so missing these, I really can't. No, there's not much really that can go wrong. You just obviously just take care in, in what you're doing and, and, and have it certain in your head what, what you're playing and where you're going. And yeah, yeah. It's just obviously three balls around, around the middle, he just needs to be certain where he's playing them. Maybe a little stun shot here. And he's come back to, is he looking at the plant maybe? Looks like it. He plays the plant from there, then he probably kick any other yellow over towards the bottom right hand pocket, I would say. Probably put a little bit of pace. Yeah, he's played that well. He's perfect now. He just screws up the rail and leaves the white somewhere near the middle pocket. That should be 8 4. Yeah, he's played that well. And having said that, we thought it was going to be 7 5. Seven five and yeah. I can't believe he missed that. I can't, to be honest, Greg. Mm. Yeah. He's slumped in his chair now, Ben. He's. That's a massive that. This is going to hurt, so... He's pulled himself up before, he needs to... Uh yeah, he really needs to do it again now. Yep. Yeah. 
Simon from Simon's perspective though, if you can if you can get a good break here and and you know get a finish, that 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 would really drill it into Ben. So yeah, this this, this in a way this is a big break and a big frame for Simon because he doesn't want to give Ben a good opportunity to, to get his confidence back up. He he wants to hurt him now, and so he's going to want to break well and and. Uh, I win this frame. He's made balls, so I'm quite safe, so he's in. He's yeah, he's hand. in. Picking the colour, I think you know, he's got no choice but to go for yellows. But I think both colours look look good. So just make your first ball, Simon, and, and you got a good chance. Taking a yellow, Simon. Mm. He's playing on both. Yeah, and I don't think that's helped him because well, the yellow may go past the black into the other middle. No, it must do because he's, he's looking at his next ball, so it's obviously looks to it on the screen now. No, I don't know if it does go, you know. I'm not sure it does. He's come round to look at it and he's, he doesn't look happy. And there we go. Ugh, it's still hard to tell from there, isn't it? It may just... No, he's going to play the yellow into the bottom corner. And he's played a good recovery shot there, yeah. Si. Yeah, just where he's, he's potted that, that second yellow is just... Made a bit more trickier for for Simon. He's obviously had to play that long yellow, and he's got another long yellow to take out now. But I mean, if he makes this one, he should be back in prime position. So, yeah, it's a good shot that. Yeah. Played it really confidently that yeah. as well. And what he's done is give himself options. The way he's played it, he, he can play the ball now. So it's a clever shot. I'd say he's he's in perfect position now. So he just needs to drop this into the middle and get into the top left, and that should be a break dish. Exactly what I was talking about. And really putting the pressure on Ben. So. Playing to the top right, okay. Either or. And that's certainly the way to punish somebody when you've missed the black, so. All of a sudden, uh, Ben's gone from in his head, he, you know, in his head he, he's won that frame and he's 7 5 and now, and now he's 9 4, so. You know, it's a big swing now. That's going to hurt. Ben's made a ball from the brain, but he's not anything easy. And people talk about running the game, and 
Well, certainly that is a factor, but I'm a true believer in if you're playing well and you're queuing well, the run works with you. Yeah, you kind um, of make your own luck, don't you? You make your own luck, exactly yeah. that. Which is exactly why I don't get any luck, because I'm rubbish. <laughs> I don't know if you see any yellow or red here, but yeah, it's two threads. Right. Good shot, that. It's not bad, he's, he's still got. I think the next shot's the key one now. He's either got to play the plant or the red down the bottom right. He's got a good chance to uh, to pull one back. He's got to be getting these to, to compete in the game. 100%. Game. 100%. It's important that he, he takes these out. Just for his own sanity. Yes, that's not good. I think he's forced into me personally. I think the red by the middle pocket. I think he's got to play that into the bottom corner now. And and the reason why I say that is because he he can then play the ball on the rail. And he doesn't have much to, to, do, to do much with it, so we can then play the other red into the top left. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what he's going to do here, Greg. It looks like he's putting loads of side on the ball with a bend, doesn't he? A stud shot. Yeah, <laughs> and then he just stuns yeah. it here. It's the same thing as what Simon done. Right? Yeah, to catch you out and then they just change it on yeah. the split second yeah. as they're dragging it back. I'm still... Uh, a bit amazed about that block he missed, to be honest, Greg. It's can't I just can't believe he's missed it. He's going to be uh, dreaming about that one tonight, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Oh, Ben. Ben, 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 what have you done? So he's... He's gone too f he's gone too much through with the cue there, well, and well, he's... Well, he's played it with screw, but he's not struck the ball, he's... He's quit on the shot, so he's not actually stunned it or screwed it. He's just where he's quit on the shot and he's not fully through. He's the the white's just uh, kind of deaccelerated with the exactly. ball, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly that. Yeah. I think he should still be okay if he can play this off. I don't know. I don't know that he is. He's, this is tricky. He's got to play a good shot here. Yeah, and he has. Oh. Is he on it? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I think he is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, so he's on it. He's on it. A little bit fortunate there, to be fair. But he's yeah. Because you meet your own luck, he had to go at it. He's all over the place for that finish. I mean, that that, that wasn't a hard finish. Um, but he got it, and that's the important thing. So it's 95, and it's one on the board for Ben. So you know, although it's he's a bit all over the place at the moment, that's going to help with his confidence. And if he's going to get himself back in this game, that's what exactly what he needs. So. Simon to break again. He's had quite a lot of break dishes, Simon, yeah, in this match, hasn't he? He's broken superbly today. And, and uh, he's not done a lot wrong, to be honest. And he hasn't missed many balls. And a couple of where, you know, obviously when we, we talked about him sort of pushing about it a little bit. And Oof. The white left the, t the bed of the table then. And he come back. I don't think he's made a ball. No, he hasn't. So. Bent to the table, so he's got a chance. You know, he's if he's going to get back in this game, he's got to take it. So it's, it's really quite that simple. So he really needs two more frames to win the match. And he's got a dry break. Ben's got opportunities. He's really got a sort of taking these opportunities now. Yeah, he has. That's what I mean. Simon's been a bit fortunate though. He's brought. He's hit him well, the white's nearly come off the table and not, and I don't think he's left Ben a, an easy opener, Greg. I, mean, I, I think, think the obvious choice is the yellow down the rail. Yeah. So I don't, 
No. Well, he probably run into the corner yeah. as well as what he's looking at. And he might be jacking up to try and snip this in the bottom. He's mm. put the black teeth. So it's not a great shot. He's, he's nudged the black on top of the yellow, so now he's got another problem ball. So he may choose to, to try and develop that now. Um, he's got the angle to play the red into the top corner and, and, and sort of nudge the black back out. Yeah. Well, he could do it now, Greg, yeah. and then, and so, then go, go again. Yeah, I think when you've got a, a, a couple of dead balls, it's always good to get them out as early as possible cause if you're going for a finish, because you've got other balls to land on. You know, if you leave it to, if you put the balls and leave it to last, he's got to get it out and land on it. So Yeah, he's um, putting all your eggs in one basket. Exactly that. Yeah, there you go, so... Oh, yeah. Is he on anything? The red by the middle, it's yellow. Um, I think that may go into the bottom left. If not, the answer is no. Yeah, I think it might It's be. tight. Yeah, it's tight. It's tight. I think he's he's got a play, he's got no option, so... It is tight, possibly goes, but he's got nothing else he can play, so he's, he's going to have to take it. But he hasn't got to do a lot with it, you just drop it in. And he's played the plant and he's missed that by a mile. Yeah, he hasn't. I think um, he's not happy with that shot, uh, Greg. He's really struggling at the moment, Ben. You can see in his face he's... Disappointed with that. He's, he... Do you know what I think? I think that ball went, looking at that camera angle when yeah, he showed it, you know, it's... It was tight, but I think he had, he had like half a pocket, Greg. He did, yeah. and, and I think the thing was, even if he didn't get it, he covers the pocket. Yeah. So, you know, he's kind of played it a, a half-hearted attempt to, to get a shot, really, though. Yeah, if you... If he played it and covered the pocket with the two yellows on the on the left hand side of the table, he's he's in control of the frame. So yeah, fair I, for it. I don't get the plant shot, but that's what you fancied and that's what you took on. And, and now Simon's got a, a good chance to to uh, to get to ten. Yeah, he has. Yeah, back at the table and. Uh Does the yellow pass the red? Get Mike, right? Yeah, I don't think he needs to play it quite yet. Um, no. Sort of yellow, this yellow down the bottom end of the table. With, oh, sorry, yeah, that's that the one you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's his only bad point. Well, yeah, he's got one down there, I'm, but. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. It's tight. Again, that's tight. We'll, we'll know in the next couple of shots because if it does, you, you'll play the yellow into the right middle and then the the yellow on the bottom right into the bottom right corner. That's the roadmap if it went. If it doesn't go, then he's going to have to go a different way. So Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, I think it does. It goes, it goes. So this is a real good opportunity now for Simon. Being careful with his work here. Yep. He doesn't have to do anything crazy, he just needs to drop it in, run the white through just a little bit to give himself a bit of angle. Not too much. Q's so low on the board, doesn't he? 
Yeah, he does, yeah. Mm. He's not very happy about that shot he's played, but he's played the yellow to the same bag where the red is near. And I still think he can pop this and get on his next ye uh, yellow quite easily. Yeah, he's, he's just probably got to change the route that he was originally planning now because he wanted to play that yellow into the middle. Yeah. Just a little bit slightly. Potted it, but he's not the black right on the rail now, so Simon's. Uh, All of a sudden, Simon seems under a little bit of pressure. I don't know if it's. Yeah. He needs to play this with a little trace of running left hand side just to, to avoid the kiss on the yellow and bring it out nicely to play the yellow into the middle. It's a tough little finish this now, Greg. Yeah. You can just see that we played the left hand side in it, but he's again he's he's cut on the shot a little bit. This is a little bit tricky. Yeah. I don't know if he plays into the middle whether he kisses into the black. Or whether he goes into the, towards the, the knuckle in the middle pocket. If he kisses into the black, I think that's the shot. If he thinks he's going to the knuckle then he may choose to take yellow into the top corner. He might jack up a bit of that. No, he's uh, the other option is to play the black in as a double after. Which is what he's played. And he loves a double sigh. There's not much room for error with this. Yes, I. Great shot. It was a great shot. He's not. He said he's, he loves a double. Didn't yeah. he? He's missed one yet. So. <laughs> I don't think he has. And he puts him on the hill, Greg. That. Yeah, he's a big favourite now. Ben's another good break and again he's got a chance but Yeah, he needs to be getting these. He can't he can't really afford any more mistakes. He can't no, afford any mistakes full stop. This he has to win the match six nil from here yep. and it's a big ass that. That's a good shot. Yeah. And we've not finished now.
Take me this one, Ben. Yeah. Yeah, no danger that, that time, Greg. <laughs> So 10-6 assignment, and he's one more frame to, to get through. Of course, the loser of this is still in the tournament, they've been double elimination, so... Yeah, yeah, they're, um, they're on two lives, these two at the moment. Right then, Ben. I see some character. You need this? Yeah. He certainly got it in him, so. It's a big ass from here, but not many players I think you can. You can win from here against Simon, but that's there this weekend. But I think Ben's one of the few that possibly could, so. Yeah, I think he could, yeah. And get his arm going and get the confidence that he needs. Still got a chance, just got to take one frame at a time. This needs to go well. They're looking to go through the gap or flick it. Yeah, in behind the yellow and flick the red, but we may just catch the yellow. Yeah, I think so, Greg, too. Yeah. Oh dear. He's missed that yellow by a mile. He's missed it by a long way, yeah. A long way. Right, and Simon, here's your chance. Yeah. Take a big scope. Ben's looking horrified with himself after that shot. He's um He knows he's not played well, but I mean like I said, I think Simon's done that to him. Simon really has played well in this match. Yeah, yeah. Just the first half of the match, Simon was just absolutely on another level. Yeah. Incredible pull. Relentless. Um Someone sort of got down to look at to pot the ball and then sort of stood back up. I think he's going into this red, so he's just got to be a little bit careful here on what he's doing and make sure he's going to make sure he knows what he's doing in his head before he plays the shot. And that's why he's play it, played it positively because he couldn't avoid going into the red. So he's got through the ball there and he's played that well. Planning out his work, I think. Um, yep. It's a tough little finish, this actually. Yeah, it's, right? it's, it's, it's certainly not easy. He's, obviously, he's got three balls which are not on the rail, but sort of just a little bit tight. And, hmm, okay, all right. Strange choice of shot for that, for me, to be fair. But I think he's, I mean, I was thinking of the red into the middle, left middle, but. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, but I think the reason why he's not taking that was going back to what we were saying about um, working backwards from the black. So that would have been, that's his last, he's thinking that's his last ball to get on the black. And if the black, as long as he's not killed the black on top of the yellow, and I'm not sure if that goes or not. Um, well, I think it's tied up, that, Greg. It looked like it from that it angle. It certainly went before. 
Mm. It's just not to me it's just gone safe in which case it changes things so we're gonna play another double here. This one's gonna dislodge the black as well at the same time. He's missed the double. Well he mustn't be first. I well, know he's not feeling very well at the moment, so <laughs> So I'm be disappointed with that because that really was a good good opportunity there. Yeah, they give Ben a chance now to just knock these yellows in. There's not really a lot of traffic in the way of him not getting these. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. He's still not. <laughs> you know. It seems to me, can't he? He's just he's struggling. But. He hasn't got to do anything with the white ball again. It's it is a, a road map finish, and just make sure the part drop everything in dead weight. And okay, he's looking at coming across the table. Doesn't need to, but if that's, if that's what he fancies, that's fine. Perfect. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Would have probably played the yellow into the middle then, um, but he's landed perfect and it's not a problem. So 27, 27. Yeah, Ben's break. To break, and I think he's broke dry. He has indeed. Is, uh, and the split's been absolutely perfect. So this is a big, big chance now for Simon to, to take the match. Choose you lose now. Yeah, good shot that from Sai. Just uh, one good shot here, Greg, and I think I think it could be all over, Matt. To be honest, it's just about getting it right, getting, it? Good, getting in good position now and obviously he's in good position but he's just a bit far away from the balls and if he can just play this into the corner and, and get closer to his work and I can't really see him much going wrong here yeah it's a good shot that from Simon yeah it's perfect and, and to be fair I think Simon's deserved to, to win this match the way he played in the first six frames was just absolutely superb and um, mm. it would have been a travesty for him to lose from after uh, playing so well but Ben's done 
superbly to get back into the match, to be honest. Yeah, he has, because he could have got he, he could have been a bit of a triumph sin and Sai yeah. could have run away with it, but it's you know, he's uh, He's he's gonna be spewing about that black though. Yeah, it's it's, it's a massive Greg yeah, that. Yeah. It's it's like a four frame to a two frame when swing. You, when you look at the score now. Yeah. I mean obviously Simon Brick did straight after it, so Which which really stuck yeah. the knife in I think, yeah. didn't it? Well, he was dicing with death then, he really sort of got into that. It's not true. Didn't need to hit it so hard. Um, but no. he's, I mean, he's not happy, he, you know, but he's still got a good chance. I mean, he's obviously got to play the, the other end to the, to the right corner, I would have thought now. Um, so, just a bit of rush of blood. So he just needs to, to get this right. Just bring the right hand side to check the ball. I know he's come up above it. It's not too bad. He's backing himself to knock this in. Well, he's he's going to play this at pace. He's going to pump this in and he's going to kick the weight off the side rail and back out, I would guess. Yeah. Big shot coming up for Sai. That's a great shot, that Sai. Superb. And very well played, Simon. And, um... It was like game set and match to Sai, this. Yeah, well played. Yeah, well played, Sai. Right. superb in that match. Unlucky to Ben. Absolutely superb. Well done, Simon. Good win in 11-7, he's a real tough opponent. Yeah, uh, obviously a tournament favourite as well, so it's a good scalp. Yeah, he's had a few bets on him, but there's been a few bets on you as well, so you feel confident? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm playing well, starting to feel good. Um, brought really well again in that match, obviously that was key against someone who breaks as big as bad as well. You seem to like step up a level to the final of the IPA this year. Last year you got to the quarter-finals of the pack events. Do you think you can go a little bit further this time and take the tight line? I hope so, yeah. I think I'm playing well enough. Um, obviously to beat someone in Ben's class as well is a really good win. You seem to have the eye of the Tigers. I think you should be the favourite, really. I <laughs> don't know about that. There's still a lot of good players left in it, so we'll just see how we get on. Okay, so one more match tomorrow and that will hopefully get you through to the last eight. Yeah, yeah, fingers crossed it goes well again in the morning. Okay, see you in the morning. Cheers, Lee. Too so, many beers? Never. <laughs>
Screen table number one, table five in the club, Shane Thompson, Darren Pinker. Scores you to the top table.
we yep. get him. Okay. Shane Thompson and Darren McVicker. He log off and uh, Darren's a break. We're expecting quite an aggressive game here between the two of them. Uh, two very attacking players and uh, Darren hasn't got much of a, a fudging game so he's, he's going to be going for everything he can. He's, he's a great potter. This guy's, uh, I don't know if you've seen the um, it was a Facebook video of him that went viral um, knocking in a 147 in something like three and a half minutes. Oh yeah, I remember then, that yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. No. that's this guy's incredible player. Pots him off the lampshades. So, uh, going expect for fireworks. The, going for the cut break here. Yeah, he hit the 147 in about three and a half minutes and, and picked the balls out of the pockets himself as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's some player. Have you had any betting yourself on this? No, not in this game. I, I've done a few accumulators along the way um, and I've been one, one, one match off on every one. So the, uh, the bookie's got my money and I'm going to let him... <laughs> I'm not going to chase anymore. I think that's it for me. So yeah. Okay, so quite a good split, really. Yeah, you know, he's played a good shot there and developed his ball. So, oh, yeah, he must tuck inside the red, I guess. Yeah, I think he's got a big bag there with a the red there. Let's come across. Dean has to touch a red and he's, he's, <laughs> land, he's landed in perfect position as well. So, yeah, it's sometimes makes us look really bad in his camera yeah, position, yeah. don't they? Yeah, for sure. So, this is the losers half of the section. So, I say losers, they've lost one game. Um, I think it's down to around about the last 16 or 24 or something like that at the moment. So, I think. The winner of this game goes on, goes back into the main draw tomorrow, I believe, and then in the last 16 for uh, them playing for the for the money stages. Um, I've, I think you might be wrong there. I think is there's actually right? two more rounds tomorrow for the loser section. Oh, is that right? Um, okay. Yeah, they've they've got a 10 o'clock round and a half 12 round, and then they go into. And then the, they go back in. So they've yeah. got two more to play after this. Yeah. Fair enough. Now. They've got the work cut out, basically, if you lose. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of games, games in there, yeah. yeah. Okay, so just slightly screw across here. Oh, he's, oh, he's following through, okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think the screw shot probably would, or some sort of stun or something would have been a better option, but he's just to go across the table and he's got a shot, but he's bridging, this is tough, he's bridging over the black and Tough shot now. Oh, he's played it well. <laughs> yeah, he likes to pop balls, this boy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Made it look like it was an easy pot, that. <laughs> uh, it's like he's over the pocket. Isn't it? it's yeah. Some shot, that. Okay. You look back now, look at that. He's just dropped this in down the pocket and he's landed absolutely perfect on the black. Just, you know, a little bit more proof of what we're saying about his ability in terms of potting. I mean, he's an incredible potter. Shane Thompson, also superb uh, potter, but more of an all-round game. Um, Okay, we're just going to cut in for a quick interview now. Well, Christian, that was your third one. How do you think you played in the match? Um, started off really well, and 4-0 um, up. Um, made a silly mistake, and gave part of that two shots, and then the game kind of turned a bit. 
um, next thing I know is 4-3. Uh, um, but I kicked on a bit there. And, um, it's good stuff. He's uh, quite a tactical player, he knows the rules quite well. How did you cope with that side of the game? Yeah, I think um, I would be one of the longest games going in the last session. I quite enjoy the tactical side of things. It's kind of um, a bit of game of chess. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoy it. Uh, and do you know the world rules well enough um, to, to compete at the top level? I think I do, but I don't know if I do. You'll find out yeah. later, so. Yeah. But then you've won three matches, one more now to qualify, and you'll play again at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Possibly against Steve Dempsey, so uh, best of luck, and uh, hopefully you qualify through the quarters. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Follow it. Cheers, Okay, so we're back and uh, Shane's uh, got a superb chance here to, to draw it level. Yeah, it does go past the red into the right corner, so I should just have to drop this down, drop, drop this in, and should be fine. Scores. Okay, but he's obviously decided to play the yellow into the middle and, and come around the angles. He's because he has to play at pace. He's missed the ball. And it's it's gone a bit safe as well. So uh, Darren's a big favourite for this frame now. Yeah, at this level it's really difficult once you're missing to put some massive advantage on the opponent. Yeah. And it's funny, you see, see, I'm a very sort of negative player and I'm looking at the snooker straight away, sort of playing the, the middle of these three reds on the right and Darren just wants to pop balls. Just... Well, I'm quite an old school player myself. Yeah. I'd have been dull, I'd have been dinking and everything. Yeah, in yeah. There. yeah. <laughs> the obvious, the obvious shot was to sort of stick the white in between these three balls, develop them, and lay a tight snooker. But not Darren. He, he, he's going for these. He's happy to leave the white there and smash the ball into the corner. The abilities are incredible. Okay, so we have managed to get the chat up if anyone wants to mention anything. Nice. Yeah, Harrison Shanley said that he played um, Sai a few months back for 700 man a match and he won 25 20 foot, 22. Good result, that is. Please, Nuka, how about that? We'll check down, you might get a nosebleed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a routine in shot, though. Shane really didn't have much option there. He probably needed to wait a bit tighter to the rail, but. Strange shot, really. Hopefully, we'll be able to get you some player profiles up shortly, give you a bit of feedback on them. And obviously, keep you up to date with the scores from the other matches. Oh, it's been unlucky there. Just that little kiss is just for the snooker there.
Who were the commentators for the Porto Phillips match? No idea, but I will find out for you. Uh, one of the commentators for the Partab and Christian Phillips game was Lee Mannion. I'm not sure who the other guy was. So Shane's now uh, got a great opportunity to, to obviously make it one all. Problems here, just knocking the ball into the bottom right. Yeah, that's one each. A little bit of a scrappy game. Okay, so McVicker with a break again. A cut break. It's dry. Okay, just a bit of containing safety there. Just screw slightly behind the red. Hopefully we'll be able to give you some scores later on. Maybe some of the boxing results as well, because we've got the boxing next to us. No, we haven't. <laughs> okay, I've just been told we haven't. <laughs> Sorry. It's just an open table and just sort of tip something about in a moment, trying to uh, avoid giving each other an opportunity. Don't want to spot off a chance, he's looking at a cut back plant to the middle. Yes, he's, he's played, played it well. Yeah, and he's played it well. So. It's been a bit unfortunate where he's landed there, to be fair. Yeah. It's only a little bit harder. He actually would have landed on the red into the other into the other corner, and that yeah. that red that's landed there would have got a bit further. So. The one bad ball that he's got but, now. Yeah. He's cutting this back in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't know much about positional play, but he knows how to pop balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's uh, he's a great talent. So. And you could actually split this out if he actually wants to go for the mad shot across the rail, which he's looking at. Well, I wonder whether he can... Uh, I think he might be just rolling onto it. this, yeah. It looked like he was going to then, but... He's changed his mind. Yeah. No, nope, he's back, just roll. Yeah. Just... He 
he's not as tight as he'd hoped. He's, I think he may have left the yellow into the, down the bottom right-hand side. Shane's not going to want to touch the yellow uh, close to the red, so he's going to avoid that for a second. And he's just played played a good white, so he's not left any any shot for uh, for Darren. Yeah, at the moment it's sort of anyone's game, really. Well, yeah, there's, a, there's no real opportunity come for a player yet, so they're just kind of keeping each other out at the moment. Quick shout out for uh, Jaden, just, just text me to say, give me a shout out. So there we go, he's listening to the game and uh, hope you're enjoying the game. See, all your friends give you nice comments, all mine abuse me. When <laughs> it's actually me. my son. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's texted me, he said, Dad, can you uh, mention me? <laughs> there you go. Is he a budding pool player or snooker player? He's been playing snooker actually, and he's um, he's doing really quite well. He's he's only ten years old, but he's he cues the ball, ball lovely, and um, I'm hoping uh, he sticks with it and and there's a future for him. So we'll see what takes. Yeah, hopefully women and beer don't change that. <laughs> <laughs> there's a young lad here this weekend actually. Um, he played in this tournament, 14-year-old yeah. lad. Did you? I don't know if you know him. Um, he knocked in a 147. He's knocked in a 147. What's all that about? I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> you can't even reach the blue spot to re-spot the I've ball. I've managed a 1, a 4 and a 7, but... <laughs> <laughs> When I actually saw him, I thought he was Liam White's son, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 yeah, he's small, isn't he? He's is small, yeah. He's a confident lad. I'm watching, I watched his game, his first match against Danny Davis on the live stream uh, on Friday. Um, and uh, he, he didn't didn't seem to miss much. No. And playing the tournament with the calibre of the players that are here as well, he didn't seem to phase him at all. No. Of a 14 year old, like say, 14 year old lad playing against men. Yeah. It yeah. Can be a little and bit. Not just men, I mean, some of these players are some of the best players about, you know, in the, in the yeah. UK at the moment. So he's playing with some of the best. So uh, he, he's got good uh, pedigree and hope to see more of him in the future. Okay, so we're looking at the plant here. Pulls this off and it's, it's game on, really. Screw red. back. Huh? Red goes into oh, the corner. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great shot. Yeah, a little stun shot now, and he should be uh, should be fine. Just roll this in. He's got nothing to do with the white. Black obviously goes in the left middle. Two one lead to McVicker. Yeah, it doesn't miss much, does he? No. 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 Well, so far, um, the, the match has gone um, with uh, with serve, if you like, with the, you know, the breaker. So, Jeez. yeah, this level, the break is massive. Isn't yeah, it? we were talking in, in uh, my previous matches that I commentated on, and uh, we. Ben Davis's match with Mike King and also his match with uh, Simon Fitzsimmons and the ma the the break dictated the result of both those matches by yeah. far. It was um, and Ben 
when he breaked against uh, Mike, he was it was phenomenal, and um, and the same for Simon against Ben in that match. So such a big shot um, in terms of of the sport at this level. Yeah. Oh. He's been run unfortunate there. He's he's stunned the white into the table and um, kept control of the white, but the, it's been kicked into the corner, which is uh, something you've got no control over. And um, although he hasn't actually bought the ball, so the advantage obviously is only, it's only one shot. But he's got ball in hand and an opportunity to take control of the frame. Darren's looking at taking the yellows. There's a lot of work in this in this frame to do, so I never quite know what, what he's thinking, but the right shot here is to, to cover the pocket, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but there we go. He's uh, got he's some work to do here. Yeah, he's absolutely well, suicidal going for this finish, I'm sure, but once you got three bad balls here. And never can rule out what this boy can achieve, so I'm certainly not going to knock him, but I think definitely covering the pocket to control the frame was, was the right way ahead there, but yeah, I don't really know what he's done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't predict at all, so we'll just have to run with it and, that's, that's and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know, talk, talking a crazy finish, because that's how he plays, yeah. whether there's a plant into the right-hand side middle, but... I think he's actually looking at that. Oh. What a game this is to commentate on. <laughs> he's, um, yeah, I mean, even if he gets this, he's, he's like, <laughs> where does he go from there? And, and he's just had the mad yeah. swing in it. He's, yeah, he's okay. like nearly potted the black. He's giving two shots. And he's opened all the reds out, and now yeah. he's got tap-ins. Yeah. So, whereas just two minutes ago, it was it was a difficult for both players, and now all of a sudden, Shane's got a... A doddle game. Yeah, exactly. And these that. are the sort of the games that give confidence going as well. well Shane, Shane's um, obviously been there, done that. He's got to the final World Masters. He's you know he's playing the England A team. He's he's a great player. So you know I think mean, got to try and put a bit of pressure on these players. And covering a pocket would have been the right shot, but he chose to go for it. And what he's done is handed the the frame to to Shane really. Sheen's not going to be missing from here, not with two shots for, sh for sure, so. Yeah, and he's just got up to his... I mean, it's not really a bad ball, but his yeah. baddest ball on the it's table. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this makes it an absolute doddle finish now. Oh, hang on a minute. No, I think he's okay. Yeah, just screw up <laughs> the table okay. a little bit, yeah. yeah. Don't get still got two shots from here. He hasn't even got any man, any yellows to manoeuvre around. He can afford to lay this up and well, he's gonna drop it in, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's shots. an easy shot, isn't yeah. it? But, yeah, yeah he... <laughs> okay. That's two each. So he's handed that one to Shane, in my opinion. He's could have took control of the frame to just, just cover in the pocket. and but he's such an attacking player, he's just going to go for everything. And that's just how he plays. And, you know, I can't knock it. The guy's got, they're in the last 16 or whatever it is in the, in the, yeah, I mean, it, in the it's, event. So, I mean, there's attacking and suicidal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
but if it comes off, then he, he looks like a genius. It's yeah. just one of those. So um, he's either yeah, he's either a genius or a, or a numpty, depends <laughs> how you want to look at it. Well, but, he's still in the tournament. I'm out. So, yeah, yeah, so, and me. Uh, I didn't even <laughs> enter. So definitely. Oh, there you go. He's definitely a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No. Very quiet at the moment, everyone. Not many questions so far. Anyone does want to ask anything, feel free. We probably can't answer it, but we'll have a good go. <laughs> if anybody can tell us exactly what Darren's doing, then that would be great as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, if anyone wants to have a go at this, I'm sure there's some commentating available tomorrow. <laughs> he's, he's got a nice split here, and um, yeah, a few things he's got to sort of work out. One of them is the yellow that he's just about to kiss into. Um, don't know if that he's kissed it enough for it to go into the middle. Don't think so. No, but it, I mean, it, if he gets on it, it does actually go the top bag as well. He yeah. has kissed it enough to get past that yellow. You know, yeah. So, I mean, it, it's got to be plumb positioning, but it, he has got that option now. He may choose to, to play another ball and try to develop it a bit more and, or kiss into the red and nip it up into yeah, the middle. Yeah, you would think so, yeah. He's got plenty of balls still to play with, so we'll see what he chooses. But. That's a bit of a nothing shot. He's kind of landed nowhere there. Yeah, he's kind of overscrewed that a little bit. Yeah, he's got the yellow into the uh, bottom right, of course, but um, yeah, he's definitely gone over the overscrewed that shot. And he's fighting for position now, so I um, don't know if you can see the, the the yellow we were just talking about. Whether he's on that now, and if if he is, he may choose to play it. Because if he is on it now, it's a good opportunity to play it now. Yeah, definitely. He's taking a ball at the top, so he must have felt that he wasn't on it enough. So and he's running out of time, so he needs to start thinking about that yellow. He's gone for the cross double here. <laughs> oh, and he's played it well. There you go. Yeah. Suicidal or genius. <laughs> you guys decide. Let's have a poll, see what everyone decides. Yeah. I mean, this isn't a gimme, but it's, it's, it's certainly there. Pots this, and the game's won, really. Misses it and the game's lost though, that's the only problem. Yeah, and he's played it well. Oh, he's just over screwed that Yeah, he has, and he's tight to the rail. This is, uh, this is tough. So he and he's not ideal for well, going no, on he's the not, black He's going to have to come across the table. I think he's going to have to play the black, black into the... Well. Well, he might even have to come across twice here to get back onto the black. He's got to come across twice. This is going to take some serious queuing strength, this is. Yeah, yeah he's, and he's twitched a little bit. So a chance for Shane to, uh, to get his knees in front now. Yeah, it's a big, ch big chance now, this is.
you can see the difference with the two players and Shane's so steady and controlled was uh, he's like I say he's got more of the all round game and his putting ability is you know, just as high but he uh, he's much more controlled in what he's doing whereas Darren's just going to attack every every opportunity but if the ball's open for him you know he's dangerous and he'll take some stopping I think actually these two guys played down in Bristol in a money match um, oh right what was it? it must have been about sort of four or five years ago now um, they played down in Bristol back when I mean Shane's living in Bridgewater now but he, um, he back when he was living in Bristol a couple of years back he they played together I think it was for Maybe about six to eight grand. I can't remember something like that. And um, Shane won, and he won by a big margin as well. So he just needs to work this out now, because obviously the blacks on on the top row. He, he needs to get the white up the table. So he needs to make sure he gets the right angle on his last ball. So however he decides to play it, which ball he plays first. Just got to get a right angle. Going this way, obviously the yellows that comes into play on the next shot. So he just needs to work his way around the yellow. He's looking at coming inside, I think. So we have to play this with a tracer yeah. right hand side. A little bit of check on this, and he's he should be on the back, nice and easy. Cup on the inside. Oh, there he's fine. The white going. He's fine. Oh, that John Virgo moment was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we can get you some scores up shortly from the other games. My batch is about to die. I don't know if you can get it. Uh, you can get the scores up. Have a look from all you're looking at the betting. Okay, so we've got some scores for you. Zach Shepard is 3-1 up against D Davis. M King is 1-0 down to P Singh. R Warren is 5-1 is down to J Kane. And N Davi is 5-3 up against A Dad. H Singh is 1-0 down to P Wright. J Bates is 7-1 up. Some big results there. You just mentioned as well the, the results just read out were um, lots of players that are uh, in a loser's half of the draw. So, say so losers again, uh, they're not actually losers. They've they've lost one match and it's a double elimination tournament. So, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed about um, <laughs> Rob Warren. I've yeah. had a little bet on him for this game. Did you? <laughs> yeah. What price was Rob at the start? Five to six. Oh, oh for, for, for the whole tournament. Tournament. Um, twenty to one. Was he? Yeah. Yeah, that's big odds really. Yeah, Rob's a, it's his home venue as well, and he's yeah. a, he's a great player. So. Yeah, there were some big odds, but it just show, goes to show the talent of this field, yeah. really. Yeah, it is a it's a lottery. I mean. Ben Davis's tournament um, favourite, and in the last match, he, he didn't get a shot until he was 6 0 down. Yeah. So it just goes to show, and uh, as I say, that Darren Vickers under hit that by a couple of inches, and he's he's in big trouble now. I think this is some cut he's got to play. Yeah. And not only play, but also he's got to land on the ball at the top half of the table. So he's, he's playing this with side and. Yeah, it's a tough, tough shot this one is now. Just needs to take a little bit more care in his shots. He just sort of rushes around the table. And I know he likes to get flowing and um, get into some sort of rhythm. But sometimes that can go against you. And just taking that little bit extra time to make sure mm. you uh, didn't make you a mistake. Yeah. And then there's a the result. So he's, he's gone in off and now Shane's... 
And in a cut like that, you're never ever controlling the white. Yeah. And you are hoping for a little bit of luck, really. Both these players have, have lost one match already in this tournament, um, so the loser of this game uh, is out of the tournament, obviously. In both uh, games, they've, they've both lost 11 9. Shane lost to Stephen Dempsey. Uh, so, possibly cut this in and split his bad ball out. There you go. Mm. Well, we'd have liked a better, better split than that. You, you yeah. never think he's not landing on that red over the left hand pocket. Yeah. But even still, you would expect him to finish these from here. And you go back to what I was saying in uh, Darren Vicker lost to Jez Graham. And the battle of the uh, Plymouth Lads, 11 9. And uh, as I say that, Shane's missed the double and he's still got a chance though. I mean he, although he's missed he's shaking his head a little bit there. Yeah, he's, he's disappointed. He's disappointed he's, he's missed, but actually he's landed okay because he's he's got the right angle to drop the red into the middle and come up the table for these two reds and it shouldn't pose too much of a problem for him, so I think the biggest issue oh, okay. I'm not sure about that shot. I think he's okay, but I think the biggest issue, going back to what I was saying, is the two reds on the right hand side of the table by the middle pocket. And yeah. And obviously, there's a plant into the middle, so maybe you'd look at that, but just a little bit of work to do. It's not a clear cut finish as yet. He might look to disturb these now. Yeah, he could do. Just screw down a little bit. Again, the other option if he lands the white. Um, somewhere sort of parallel with the black along that line you can play the plant into the middle yeah mm -hmm. I'd say that's perfect because he's got options now he can choose yeah. whether he wants to go into them or whether he wants to play for the plant so it's down to his preference now and what he feels Chose to nudge them out just slightly, and it's landed perfect, really. Yes, yeah. yeah, good shot. At the moment, um, Darren's handing frames to Shane. It's, yeah, uh, looking like he's going to go four-two, and I think the last three in a row. Pretty much, uh, Darren's had a had a good chance to to take the frame and just needs to tighten his belt a little bit and just otherwise Shane's going to run away with it. So that's four frames to two. It's a race to eight. First to eight, best of fifteen. Yeah, a great opportunity now for Shane really. 4-2 up at this point. I, I know it's still early in the game, but a race to eight is very, very quick game in the pool. Especially when you're throwing away frames. Yeah, definitely. Uh, cut break at pace. Very difficult to keep the white on the table. I was just going to say to you, whenever I do that, the white will end up somewhere on the table about three tables long. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, but to be fair, they've split lovely, and uh, the reds look. Uh, oh, there's, uh, there's, it's such a great perfect. break that is when yeah. it works. Yep. It's just so difficult to keep that white under control from that point. I can't see a lot going wrong here, really. No. I? But I haven't said that. We've said that a couple of times out there, and he just needs to... He hasn't got any yellows to manoeuvre around. Just He's keep just, got a, just yep. stuns and follow-throughs. Yeah. He should, should clear these up quite easily. Yeah, the white ball shouldn't do too much travelling at all here, so... Uh, Uh, 
There we go. Easy as that. And that's how you play pool. Yeah. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that. Do that every time you're a world champion. Without a doubt. <laughs> World Championship is coming up, I think, in June now. Is um, oh right, yeah. Who's favourite? Do you think? Um, well, I think Tom Cousins seems to be uh, sort of winning. He's won the first two UK tours and can never write off uh, Phil Harrison and Steve Petty's been playing well recently as well. So, but the field's so uh, vast and you know, anybody can win it. Yeah. They're the informed players, I'd say, but you can see by the, the talent that this weekend, I mean, anybody is could win an event on their day. So, a dry break from Sheen. If not quite nice, it's a bit messy, so. Yeah, just I think he'll take the reds here. He's just got the one yeah. bad red, really. Yeah. And potentially, if he gets down to it, he can flick it off the red at the bottom right-hand corner. Yeah, so Just he may choose to get on that. I mean, I'd, I always like to get on, if I've got a dead ball, try and get on it early to get out. So he's playing a bit into the middle, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't guess what this guy's going to do. <laughs> no. I, I think the shot really was to, to play the, the, the red in the middle and say, well, this one, where the bulk line. Yeah. And do exactly what you said, get the white down to the bottom rail and then you can kick the red into the middle and dislodge the red um, obviously if anyone knows what's what's <laughs> going on here can you play it now you play the red into the middle and try and get dislodged now i maybe? don't think I've, i think he's a bit too straight the wrong side of it yeah no, he's no. he has played it and he's oh, played, he's it, played it well ever yeah so well there we go, and this is another reason why we're sat here. Yeah, exactly <laughs> that. Okay, so great finish here, really. I mean, these players make these shots look so easy, but actually, in truth, they are quite difficult shots that they're pulling off. Well, that was a difficult shot. I mean, you had to play the ball into the middle pocket at pace as well. Um, and it's so easy for the ball to pop out these middle pockets when you hit them at pace. So, um, yeah, it was a good shot, and he's now got a real good chance to uh, to draw level. Mm. He's, he's just under it. That yeah, he needed to come across a bit more, didn't he? Yeah, he's got to, he's got to put some. Gonna put some it on this white, I think, to get on that red now. I don't think he can hold, but Let's see how he plays it. He may have to, if he goes across the table, he's off to across twice. He's looking like he's gonna do that. No, he's played that with a little run inside. Needs a bounce. Well, yeah. he's got a chance. He has yeah. got a chance. Roll up and down the table if he can just miss that first yellow. You'll land plum on the black. You could double it. You could double the red into the middle. Do you think so? You oh. could, you could oh, double the red yeah, into yeah. the middle and look and play a little stun shot. Yeah, perfect double, yeah. And he has, he's played it. He's, missed he's it. just missed it. Yeah. So Shane can uh, so play this, ye ye this yellow on the side rail into the top yellow. Bang them both out and screw back. Yeah. Put a white ball player like a little snooker and get both his balls out at the same time. Exactly what he's done. Yeah. Develop his balls and. Uh, and you fancy and Shane favour from at this well, point, yeah. Really. But what he's done, he's, he's clever. He's, he's where he's left the white. It's hard to come across the table because the yellow's in the way over here as well. So. Yeah. The natural angle. So this, this is uh, not easy now because he's not to play it with side and, and create the angle. I mean, I think he can come out the snooker quite easily against this the right-hand side, but obviously... You're not going to get on the black from that no, one. So that's, that's the problem, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah um, yes, I, again, a side of player feels, I guess. Oof. 
And even worse that he's potted the white, so he's got ball in hand here. Yeah. Um, two shots from this position, you, you just don't expect to play with this standard to miss from now. And that's to take it 5-3 down. Shane's not had to work hard for, for his lead, to be honest. He's, he's played solid pool and he's not done a lot wrong, but he's not had to force the issue. Everything Shane's done has been handed to him. He's just gone about his work nice and neat. He's not made any mistakes. He's just yeah let Darren hang himself, really. And he's not, It's not like he's had you know some sort of crazy finish he's had to take out he's it's not been pushed yet he's just uh, yeah plodding along doing what he's got to do and I'm just nudging that black out there he's, he's just opened the table up completely there yeah hasn't got a lot to do with the white now just little stuns and little screws and that's it he's sorted Drop this in. Just done this slide. Oh, follow through, whichever you want to go for. Yeah. Which are much nicer, really. Yeah. And there we go. Okay, five, um, three down. In and this uh, yeah. five, three to Shane. Okay, just some um, match updates for you. Um, Zach Shepard is 3 1 up against D Davis. So, um, P Singh is 1 0 up against M King. Jay Kane is 7 3 up against R Warren. N Davi is 5 3 up against A Dad. H Singh is 1 0 up against P Wright. And that's it for this round. This is the, the first time Shane sort of had to develop a finish here. He's tried to obviously play this large inside the red to open it up. Not quite made it, so... Um, I think you could possibly do it off this one. Yeah. I just can't see if it just... Just run through. Yeah. Just a little nudge will push the yellow away from the red. He's got the yellow into the far middle anyway, and the far uh, bottom right as well, so... There we go. Yeah. From now on, he's got no reds to manoeuvre around. You would expect him to finish these now. He's been solid throughout Shane this match. He's he's not put a foot wrong as he's uh, no. done everything asked of him and he's 
Okay, superb. Three up. Wack has just lost there, I believe. I'm not sure what the score is, so we'll have to get an update on that. I think it was 5 3 on the scores that you read out recently, so. Um, he just shook his hands after he was just, yeah. uh, just out of the play. King. Yeah, Josh King's just knocked a black in, so I'm assuming that um, Wack is out there. Oh. to break here. Yeah, he's come up dry and yeah. if he can see a yellow to pot, they got a good chance of a finish. But whether the yellow that he's closest to goes in the bottom bottom left hand corner or not, but um he's looking at reds. <laughs> Yeah, it must not go. That yellow that I'm talking about, it must not go, otherwise he'd be playing it because reds is absolutely not the colour to go for, for so... No. He'll try and cut it into the middle. Is it a thin cut? This is. It is, but it's the right colour to get hold of. So if he can, if yeah, he thinks definitely. it goes, it's, and he's made it. So um, now he's got a chance. Obviously, he still needs to. He's still got a difficult pot from here, but yeah, I say oh, difficult, but yeah, he just knocks him in like there was nothing. Done across here. That's perfect. Yeah. Let's just roll down the table and then just depends where he lands here now. This should be over. Yeah, I think that's the line he's the line he's looking at is so he's playing the yellow to the right of the black as we look below the red. So he just needs to play a little trace of right hand side. Uh, he's he's over run this. Yeah. yeah. He has. So now he's, well, he's only got one yellow left to play now, so he's got to play this into the bottom left. <laughs> oh, he still played it well. Stunned the black, stunned the middle in, uh, the yellow into the middle here, and well, he's just looking at screwing it back slightly. I'll tell you what, if, um, if Dan could uh, play a positional shot, it'd be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hello. No, then. I think he's just lost concentration there a little bit. Took his eye off the pot. So, a couple of times he's done that. He's just running around the table. But I do know that's how he likes to play, so. Just feel when, you, when you're playing at that speed, then you're, you're prone to, to sort of silly mistakes like that. So just taking that little bit extra time to make sure. And Shane's got a tough finish here with a black where it is. It is a tough finish. Um, and Shane's had to pull something out. There's and even if he clears the black out, there's no <laughs> saying that he's going to be on a red from where they are positioned either. Because you could potentially clear it off this red off the middle here, and get the black out. Yeah, I don't know whether you. It's, it's a very aggressive shot. It's just going to cover the pocket, and the, the up down is. Uh, it's hard from there with the reds position where they are. So. Um, I 
Although he hasn't actually got the pocket, so if Darren thinks he can get to the yellow, it is worth having a go at it. If, um, if he doesn't, then the obvious choice is, the, is a DF and pushing the black on, on top of the yellow, but... Can we try and can we go through the gap? So from that angle, it doesn't look like no. it, but... It's He's going to have to develop an angle, and I just can't see how he's going to do it. How about playing off the right-hand side here and trying to get through that gap? Come <laughs> So, you're playing so just just a, above the middle bag. Oh hello. Oh hello. Oh. oh. That was a, within a whisker away. So unlucky. That was close. You're still not giving me with uh, with two shots. This is uh, no. He's got a bit of work to do, a shame, but he's uh, in the driving seat. So. But the red in the middle of the three. If he actually. And screws into, into that, stuns yeah. across and tries and pots the... The red over buddy in the pocket. Yeah. yeah. He's going to try and just nudge up. Oh. Mm. Played the plant. Now he's uh, a bit bothered because he, he can't do what he did before and stop the up and down. So we, uh, he's committed now. He's, he, he, needs to, he needs to go for these. So he's going to have to find an angle, bring the white into the middle. And now he can play the red. That you were talking about into the top right and screw into them and try and just nudge them open a little bit. Yeah. He's still obviously got the black as well that he needs to develop. He's well, he's landed perfect there, and I, I don't know whether he'll try to develop the black now. I think he'll probably try yeah. to maybe land on it. Yeah. With the yellow near the middle pocket. Yeah, just try and roll down behind it. Roll down behind it. If you can get the white, make that yeah. his last ball, and get the white near the middle pocket, he can drop the red in and try and drop down behind it. It would be a great shot if he pulls that off, but yeah, you're right, it's definitely there. Oh, oh, well, um, oh. He took his eye off that. And I think he was and looking at the, the, the kiss and... I think the black definitely sneaks past that red, so he can just roll this in yep. now. It's not like he's got to flick past it and play the black in the same pocket, is it? He can, he can just drop this in. The big mistake from Shane, that's the first one he's made. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about the white ball. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh. They seem to be big bags on the tables oh. all of a sudden. I think the pace of that made that drop. I think a little bit harder that stayed up. Yeah. Just caught the. Uh, just get the, the back right knuckle, knuckle there, yeah. yeah. And you see the pace of it, just dropped it in. And, and against the nap as well, has pulled it in slightly, I would say. So, uh, But it's gone in, and uh, that's one that's got away for Shane. He's that's going to be a painful one, that is for Shane. It's one yeah. that he fancied winning there. Yeah, he, uh, he had a chance there, and. Um, took his eye off the pot and he's not going to be happy but he's still ahead he's still leading the match so um, all to play for and another dry break from Darren so uh, but a good split so there's a good chance here for Shane and that's the thing, the, the cut break, it's such a great break but if you dry break it you always tend to leave ploppers for the oh. next person mm. Do you use the uh, cut plate yourself? Or? I've tried it. I've uh, just it. I, I find that it's um, it's one that doesn't work for me, unfortunately. No. So back to the old traditional smash yeah. them as well. Smash them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's what he fancies there. Then he reds or yellows. If he if he chooses reds, he. Probably should play the red off the yellow into the middle on the right hand side first. 
or he might feel yellow is the colour, in which case uh, probably the yellow up into the top left is, is the shot. So uh, it's down to uh, his own preference. Yeah, I think I'll be going yellows from this position here. There. I mean, he's going to take the one over the middle, but he's only really got the one ball to land on, like, which yeah, it's not difficult. It's just getting on it properly and obviously not having too much angle to do much with it. So you want to get on it early. I still left hand side yellow by the middle pocket. So, yeah, um, he'll be weary of that ball. That's okay, because now he can drop on it. So he'll uh, he'll, he'll want to play this now. I would expect him to 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 get the white somewhere near what would be the blue spot, and um, somewhere in the middle of the table, and then he'd uh, he'd be on that ball into the middle. Yeah, he's played it well. And he's just got to roll this in now, just and he's on the one to the top right hand corner pocket. Yeah, so it's only really one positional shot. The the shot after this now uh will determine how the frame goes. This be one just good. done this across, he doesn't want to be leaving the white on the rail. We'll just follow it through just like that. perfect. Yeah, so it's all about this shot now and where he needs the white is gonna look to play a, a little screw shot I think in yeah. and get the white somewhere near the middle pocket so he, he screws past the red he wants to finish high on it so he can land on his on the bottom ball as well so he won't over screw it here he's mm. just slightly under I think he, I mean yeah. he can screw across and hold it off the rail and he didn't really get into that then did he he kind of, sort of stunned it rather than screwed it Although you still fancy him to finish these, he has made it slightly harder for yeah. himself. Yeah, he's Good played shot. it well. Okay, 7-4 Thompson, providing nothing goes disastrously wrong here. Okay. Yep. Deposits to black and it goes to the hill, so it's a race to eight, so uh, she needs one more frame. It's the last uh, session of the evening, I believe. Yeah, obviously, um, start back at 10 o'clock tomorrow for the loser section again. So this will definitely be the last section now. Two more matches to get into the last eight, I believe. It's a thousand pound, I think, for the quarterfinals. Yep. Getting to the business end of the, the tournament now, and uh, showing uh, full control of this match. On the break, 7 4 up. And he's come up dry. Didn't want that, so uh, Darren's got a chance now, and one that he has to take. So I'd like to see Darren slow down a little bit and just. Take his time, there's no doubt the ability of his potting and what he can do, but I think he's just got a difficult shot first of all, just like these reds here, just drop this into the middle. Yeah, he's 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 um 
just dropped that a little bit short. He just wanted to make sure of the pot. He didn't want to do any too much with the white there. And he's forced him to... I wonder if he can see the red on the... Oh, he can. Oh, he's going to try and cut this at the rail, is he? Oh, he's no, doubling. He's doubling. Okay. Oh, he's played it well. There you go. <coughs> Don't think that was on for a second. But, mm -hmm. Thought the obvious shot was to play the ball in the pocket just to, uh, <laughs> yeah. to get in the balls, but it... Oh, my. And he's just I, slightly over screwed that way. Really. Well, I think he's okay because I think both reds go into the bottom left. So I think if he plays the plant and stands up towards uh, the yellow, maybe even kiss the yellow by the black, I think he should be okay. So, uh, let's see how he plays this. He's you don't want to disturb the yellows too much because obviously the black at the moment only goes in that one bag. And he doesn't want to stop for that. I think if he kisses into the yellow, I don't think it's going to make a big difference. And even if he if he flicks the black first, it's he's going to play the red into the middle instead, and it's going to send the white up the table. So I'm not I'm not a fan of that shot. But no. Yeah, he's got some work to do now. I think he's got to cut this red up fine and try and get the white. Oh. <laughs> oh, he yeah, could just, do that. Just do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who knows what's going to happen next? No. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's on that plant. No, I don't think he is. No. The fact he's shaking his head, I think that he's definitely no, not. He's, he's not. Oh, he's trying to cut be behind us. We'll get through the gap. This looks, <laughs> looks tight, that does. Yeah. yeah he's... <laughs> he's... <laughs> no, that's tight. Yeah, Shane's looked at us then and said no. <laughs> he's, the thing he can ask if it's... Uh, <laughs> I don't, well, you can't see on, 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 the, on the video, but, but Darren's just offered his cue to Shane, asked him if he wants to play the shot. <laughs> <laughs> it is tight. Um... I don't know if you can ask for a foul, if, if it's a total snooker or not, if he's got an edge on the red. But what we have to remember is the white ball is slightly smaller than the, uh, the yellow, so, um, but I don't, I don't know if it goes through that <laughs> gap. <laughs> he's playing it. No. no. Foul. <laughs> Glad that was a clear one. <laughs> it wasn't yeah. <laughs> the no ref watching that. No. Um, that could have been dodgy. He, he's missed a trick there. He, he could have asked the ref for uh, a total snooker, and the ref, if the ref wasn't sure, would have got the white out and yeah. placed it in that gap to see if there was a gap. And then he'd have known if it had gone or not. So, yeah, um, definitely. So... But he's played it and he's he, he's nudged the yellows, two shots to Shane and Shane's uh Shane happy at seven four up with two shots with this. Although it's not much. it's not an easy clearance, you would Push the yellow up to the top corner, and um, he's just got the really now the one difficult yellow pass that um, to the right hand side of the black. He, he, he's still got two shots, so he could develop that. So he could pot these two balls, and the, the yellow you're talking about, he can nudge out and leave the white where the yellow is, yeah, so that he's on the other two yellows. So he may choose to try and get on it so that he doesn't have to use his two shots up, but that's his option if he. Doesn't play this very well, so he's going to try and get into that gap now. It's 
it's not too bad. You can, you can pop these two yellows now and then they'll have two shots on the bad yellow, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, there's numerous ways you can go, obviously. It's, it's, like you say, just screw across here now. Oh, Shane, what have you done there? Why did you run through? Just a little stun shot. Yeah. A little stun shot. Pop the other ball, and then he's got two shots on the yellow. He's, he's trying to be a bit too too clever there, and um, now he's in trouble. But I think, being that he's going to be wasting the shot, he has to be playing the yellow by the black, because that's the bad ball. So if yeah. you play for the other yellow, then, then he's still got that problem. So he, he needs to, to try and develop this yellow with his first shot. Oh, and he's played it well. It's not too bad. He's you can pot this yellow bottom left. Yeah. But then he's got to do some work to get yeah. onto that he's, one. He's got to go up and down the table and come back down on, on the yellow in the middle or the top. Or well, he plays the yellow in the middle now, and then he's got to go up and down the table to get on the other ball. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's not an easy clearance now from here. It's, it's down to what he, uh, he fancies here. I don't think if he plays the ball in the middle, he can go up and down. On the camera angle, it looks. Yeah, he's, he's just off straight, see? So from the other angle, it looks like there's more angle on it, but. Yeah, it does, it, yeah. It's much more straighter than what you think, so he has got to play the ball into the corner. Or he plays one in the middle and doubles it, so I think the ball in the corner is the right shot. He's got to go up and down the table there, off the top table with check, with check side. Oh. oh, maybe not. He's missed yeah. it. All right, Darren, you've got a lifeline. I'm sure Darren thought just a couple of minutes ago he was out of the tournament, but now he's got a chance, so he's... <laughs> Rush of blood, Darren, take your time. Yeah, let's play the plant. Yeah. Look, like he was he was going to play the ball in the pocket first of all. He got down to play the ball in the pocket and then jumped up. Thought, hang on, what am we doing? <laughs> Would have been a bizarre choice of shots, yeah. but it's exactly what I thought. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. But then you just never know. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, no. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this is loads of black into the uh, middle pocket and. And he pulls one back to 7 5. And Darren to break, so uh, if Darren can get a good good break here and, and uh, finish, then uh, you know, it will put the pressure on Shane. So it's all gone Shane's way so far. I do think earlier on in the match that he was handed a lot of frames from Darren, so if Darren can. Uh, It was important. Obviously, Darren has to win every frame now, so it's no point me saying every you know it's an important frame. Every frame is yeah. important at the moment, so yeah, definitely. But I'm, but a good break now is exactly what he needs, and and it'll certainly put a doubt in uh, Shane's mind. So yeah, one big break here. What he doesn't want is a dry break. Dry break here is disastrous for him. Yeah, and give Shane the advantage straight from the start. Yeah. He's got the dry break. Yeah. And a good chance for Shane as well. The yellows yeah. look... Uh, He's got, obviously, the yellow over the bag for the nice, easy opener. And he's not really got many reds to manoeuvre around, so... No. The yellows all go, don't they? Yeah. So it's just... Uh, he's trying to <laughs> nudge it. He's trying to. He's trying to put his yellows safe. But actually, no, he's played that well, and he's, he's on the, the uh, right-hand side of the two yellows now, so that will open up the other yellow. The black goes into the middle, so there's nothing really to uh, to worry about in, ter in terms of disturbing balls. It's just working out the uh, route he wants to take. and uh, Yeah, just mapping it out now.
doesn't want to land straight on his next ball, so he's going to look to just uh, yeah. just stun shot a little screw back, maybe a little inch or two, just to so he can come off the bottom rail. You can almost follow this into the um, into the red. Oh, yeah. My eyesight's I've had a few beers now. So <laughs> <laughs> they're clearly not working. <laughs> So we look to get on to. Oh, well, hold on a second. Yeah, is it that a bit hard? He's it? only about a foot out. <coughs> he still should be okay. I mean, uh, I'd expect him to, to knock this in, but he's uh, overrun that by uh, by a little way. And um, just screw across the left, uh, right hand side of the table. Just screw back across. But it's it's yeah yeah well played. Oh. And he's landed perfect there. Perfect. He's he has up, he has done nothing. I don't even. No, you can just follow this through. Just actually. run through, yeah. yeah. Just run through. Just drop it in, and he'll be perfect on the black. There we go. Simple as that. And Shane Thompson uh, goes through on eight frames to five. Well played. Oh, <laughs> 